favorites, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to sunny and beautiful Nürburgring. The sky is blue, so is RM2. And it's also Valentine's Day because today is the 14th. So that you cannot see on camera because of the CPL filter. So you just have to believe me. I don't know. Anyway, is this my <laughs> gift from you, George, to me? The, what? the Valentine's the gift. Uh, what, a modified the, M2? The M2, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. If you want it, it's yeah, yeah, sure. up to you. <laughs> All right. The, that was a very bad attempt at a very bad joke. So let's get to the good content. Um, the M2. We had an M2. Since the very beginning of Apex, we had it already. Well, since 2017, it was actually our very first car until someone totaled it two years ago. Then we got this one. We meanwhile, also got crashed once. Straight uh, away, first yep, week. The first week. Let's go. And now it's been repaired with some additional modifications. So we're going to run you through the mods that uh, George has done in the last couple of days. And also just, I think, just some general info that has happened in between. And we're also being assisted by Adrian far away in the back with a big, yes, big lens. Yes, with Adrian with the cam shots. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right. On that note, so we have here BMW M2 F87 with N55. And I think uh, the M2 camp is always divided by, oh, why don't you have a competition because you have more horsepower, more turbos, and it's much better. Or N55 is the best sounding M engine. Yes. Yes. 100%. And also, it feels a lot more like an NA on the track to an S55. Yes. Without mapping, obviously. Yes. And in addition, 370-ish something horsepower is more than enough for the average driver. Uh, you really do not need more horsepower and all the other M upgrades that you would get on a comp version, you upgrade here anyway, such as brakes and obviously tires, etc, etc. So uh, let's start with our little tour, maybe probably quickly first. Most importantly, did you do the, what's it called, this camshaft thing upgrade? Like the crank hub upgrade. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Because, well, you know, we really need that. Really need that with our uh, <laughs> with with the amount of kilometers that, that we do, you know. Just for the new audience, uh. it's a it's just a joke that we keep on repeating every time because everyone from the states always ask, "Do you have a crank up upgrade?" No, not a single person on the Nurburgring that I know who is driving also with upgraded horsepower. We know, so as long as you're not doing crazy launch controls, probably your crank hub is not going to spin. But uh, yeah, you can. You can believe us or not. Anyway, uh, more importantly, about the parts. Of course, the car is running stock power because we don't need more. Yeah, stock power, stock cooling, everything's stock under the bonnet. Uh, it is stock cooling. Yeah, stock cooling. Yeah. The thing is, it, we've never had problems with the, M, with the M2. Ever since we've been running one since I've been here anyway, Yep. there's never been any problems with cooling or any issues like that. So mm -hmm. oil temperature's been good. Yeah, it's been, it's been fine. Yep. Just run the right oil in it, it's all good. And we've seen actually that stock cars have absolutely no problems with keeping the temperature down, even on hot days. But once you start installing some tuning boxes on or whatnot, then you definitely should upgrade your uh, cooling system. Um, well, what we do see on the front is we have some a nice uh, front spoiler, front lip. So that's uh, that's beautiful. Can't get that anymore, by the way. So anyone who's asking in the comments, where do you get the lip from? It's not available anymore. So, so please also so, yeah. do, do not crash it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because it's a nice looking lip. It's, it is. It's a, it's, it's a nice little addition. It's yeah. nice. Good, moving on here, wheels and tires, Pro Track wheels, Mission Pilot Sport 4, not 4S. Yeah, we run 4s on this, so the obviously the 4S is superior, but they don't make the right sizes yet. You can mm. only get a 295 in 18, which mm. is, I'm not going to run a 295 on, a, on an M2 on the front yeah. for, the, for the wet. They're a big tire anyway. Yeah. So we run a 26, we run basically, this whole setup on the car is E46 setup, so it's a 9.5J Pro Track. Um, can't remember the offset, 35 I think, or something similar. Yep. with uh, 265, 35, 18 PS4. Obviously, we try not to run the PS4 too much in the dry, uh -huh. but in the wet, because it's the compound and stuff, we actually think it, I think it's better. David Pittard yes. drove the car last year in the wet and said that it feels, it yeah. feels nice. It's, it's yeah. more confident than the, than the PS4S, so. Brake pads, endless. Yep, MA45B on this one. Mm -hmm. um, ah, that's a lie, MA46B on this one. Yep. This was where the first test of a 46 on this F chassis. I so. remember that, two years ago with this, I think. Uh, that was N39S. Ah, yes. Which was a little bit noisy until you... Until it was scraped. Yeah, the, exactly, yeah. Until it brushed the... Yeah, and then it was, the then they was all good. But they were, they were very good braking, regardless. Yes. Wheeled stud conversion. A lot of people are going to ask after our golf video, where did you get those while you run copper bolts? Um, the copper bolts, they're still but copper coated. And I do believe it's to do with um, corrosion and heat expansion. That's mm -hmm. what my, my belief is. I could be wrong, but don't, they work. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the studs are high tensile studs from ESA Racing. Um, 
if you're going to stud convert the car, please buy good studs. Mm -hmm. Don't buy this 20 euro kit off of eBay because the amount of times you see snap studs, snap studs, snap studs, <laughs> it's good, right? The amount of time you see them, it's, it's just, just do it properly. Yeah. So these are from ESA Racing. Um, obviously, you need to measure everything yourself and see what sizes you need with spaces, etc. But mm. yeah, that's where they're from. Cool. I'm going to go ahead to, before someone else asks in the comments why we have a massive Nankang sticker and we're running Michelin's. Uh, because it does run AR1s. We have a set of 10J square as well, ET25, um, which we run a 275 rear, 265 front, and they are AR1s. We will be running the new tyre as well. They have the, the CRS. CR, yep. CRS yeah. So we'll be trying that next year as well. Or Waiting this year. on the homologation of that. Yeah, exactly. Um, so nothing at the back to see. But Exhaust obviously, stock, everything. Yeah, exactly. Nice carpet. We've got the carpet from Stern, which now we have an addition to the interior. Doesn't fit as I'd like, but when it was, the carpet was intended for just rear seat delete, mm. it fit really well. It looks really good. It's, it's a nice little finishing touch. Yeah, and now it just doesn't fit because of the cage. Yeah, because the cage is there, it's a little bit of a pain, but it is what it is. It's just there to keep the, the floor a little bit tidier. Yeah, GRZ RS3 Pro. Yep, exactly. Um, RS Pro three-way adjustment. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this is the same, same suspension that was on the M4, mm -hmm. which we'll probably be changing this again at some point. Maybe on this car, maybe not, but on the M4 for sure, because we're going to design a different system with JLZ mm -hmm. and have a have a different different suspension with some approvals. Mm -hmm. So that should be nice. And then and now we have the addition. Let me go on the other side. Yes. So now the big update over over forever, ever since, are the seats because always we had stock seats in the M2, which are horrendous on yes. track. You slide around; it's really, really bad. So we've gone for a stylus half cage. Um, shroff harnesses, four points, mm -hmm. um, and pole positions, ABEs. So, yeah, it should make a lot of a, a lot of difference on track. Did Speaking you of harnesses, around? should we address the most asked question from the last golf video? Uh, yeah, sure. The because you said that five point is not allowed. Yeah, so five point harnesses are not street legal with papers. Um, so, as it comes from the fact, as it comes from the box with ABE with ECE, the four point harness in the papers has approval as a four point harness. It does have the option for a fifth strap. So this, this harness, I, I believe this is the only harness which has FIA and ABE. as ABE as well. Um, so you can run the, the, the other point obviously because it's got an FIA approval for like RCN when you run a street legal class, mm. you need to be able to run a, a fifth, fifth strap. There is some TUV testers that will put the fifth um, strap in the papers as a single approval but obviously that depends on the, t the test style it depends on the situation it's a very big gray area from my understanding because there's no structure the structural um, design of the floor on every car is different so it's a huge gray area to what you can do with them so if you've got welded in plates on the floor which are proper plates to run a fifth strap I'm sure your tool tester will say yeah no problem put it in the papers but as it goes from out the box with papers from approval, it's only a four point. So, I think it even says it on the yellow, the yellow stickers on the straps as well. Um, yeah, nice. but it's in the papers. So, that's the, that's the case with that. It's not a new rule. It's been the rule for to have street legal stuff in Germany for well, for sure as long as I've been here, and obviously a lot longer. I would, I'm sure. So, mm -hmm. but that's how it runs. Um, you could argue, obviously, like our F80 taxi had the fish strap in as well, but that is it's not a BMW anymore, it's now a Shermer GT. So Tom obviously does a, it a different way and he can put it in the original papers from because mm -hmm. he remanufactures the car. So there's there's that argument, but yeah. Up to the tube tester. Yeah, yeah. Why DCT and why not manual for real men? To manual for real men, manual, the manual is so clapped. <laughs> 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 can you imagine this as a manual? I'll be doing clutches every day. <laughs> the weekend, yeah, M2's out for a clutch again. Good point. I guess uh, our experience with running manuals has proven that uh, it is quite expensive because people unfortunately keep either misshifting them or get distracted by being in the right gear and end up in the barrier or... Yes, 10,000 euros in a year for clutch and flywheels. Yeah, exactly. There's a very good example over there standing that uh, actually been surviving quite okay with outer F match, but still, I think you've done like clutch like three or four times there already. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two flywheels and four clutches, I think. Yeah. Does it going to get a wing? No. No, really? I think it looks way better without a wing. It's mm -hmm. proven that it doesn't need a wing. 
it's yep. not a car that we're going to be setting lap records in. It's just a cool car for people to enjoy. So I Th think it is pointless putting a wing on it yeah, for um, this purpose. M240 racing of this uh, chassis type was actually first running without a wing, I, I believe. Yeah. The very first cars, and they were doing quite. quite was a it two, two three fives, wasn't it? Yeah, two three fives. Yeah, that's yes, it. Yeah. No, not two forty, but two three fives before they were upgraded to M240. I, uh, to be honest with you, I think the look of the car is is really good, considering this is like the the future from the 46, realistically, yeah. in size and in power and everything. This yes. is like the the modern day 46. I think it looks way better without it anyway. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Well, I guess that's kind of it. We forgot the most important bit. Of course, you can rent the car and drive it yourself, starting from 475, I think? 475 Four with lap instruction. euros for two laps, including few lap tickets, and the first lap with the instructor alongside of you. And if you do more, you get a discount. I believe the, um, if you do 12 laps, it's 2,420 euros. Again, all included. So that uh, drops the price per lap massively. Check out our website, shoot us an email, because we know that the, this car is actually quite popular. That's why the reason why we still have it after four, five years, because people always want to drive an M car, mm -hmm. and especially an M2 on the Nürburgring. So in that case, looking forward to seeing you here in this car. And actually, I'm definitely looking forward myself to drive it in a few weeks' time once the track opens. Hope you enjoyed this quick overlook, overview. Thanks again for the beautiful weather. No worries. Have beautiful weather? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wish I brought the weather. Yeah. Well, first time seeing you without a jacket this year, so. Yeah, and I haven't got goosebumps, it's lit. Oh, yeah, well, it's, I mean, Brits never get goosebumps even in minus 20. So <laughs> why are you not wearing shorts? <laughs> yes, I was gonna say I'll take a leaf out of Cleverly's book. He wears shorts all year round. <laughs>